Welcome. Today, we'll be going through problem three from the Macedonia Junior Balkan Maths Olympiad Team Selection Test 2020. Find all integer solutions of the equation x to the power of 5 plus t is equal to 3 multiplied by 101 to the power of y. Please pause the video here and have a think about the problem on your own before proceeding to the hints and solutions. Hint number one. Using modular arithmetic is often very useful for these types of equations, and this equation is no exception. Hint number two. Try using modulo 101, and also note that 101 is prime. Does this remind you of anything? Perhaps some theorems. Solution. So we'll split the problem into three cases, when y is less than zero, when y is equal to zero, and when y is greater than zero, and we'll look at each of these in turn. So we'll begin with y less than zero. Then looking at the right-hand side, we can rewrite 101 to the power of y as one divided by 101 to the power of minus y, where minus y is a positive integer, and from there, we can see that 101 to the power of y is not an integer. And 3 multiplied by 101 to the power of y is also not an integer. So what we get is that the left-hand side is an integer, because x is an integer, but the right-hand side is not. And so we get a contradiction, and so there are no solutions in this case. We'll now move on to the second case when y is equal to zero. Then the right-hand side simplifies to three and we get x to the power of five plus two equal to three. And so x is equal to one. We'll now move on to the final case, which is y is greater than zero. Then we see that the right-hand side is a multiple of 101. And so it's congruent to zero modulo 101. And so x to the power of 5 is congruent to 0 minus 2, which is minus 2, modulo 101. Now, we notice that 101 is prime. And by Fermat's little theorem, x to the power of 100 must be congruent to 1, modulo 101. Let's see if this checks out with x to the power of 5 being congruent to minus 2, modulo 101. So x to the power of 100 is equal to x to the power of 5 to the power of 20, which is congruent to minus 2 to the power of 20, which is equal to 2 to the power of 10 squared, which is 1024 squared, which is congruent to 14 squared, or 95 modulo 101. But as we've already seen by Fermat's little theorem, x to the power of 100 is congruent to 1 modulo 101. And so we get a contradiction, and so there are no solutions when y is greater than zero. Hence, we only got a solution in the second case, which was x equal to 1 and y equal to zero. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below, and see you next time.